Pissing me off! Pissing me off! Damn you! Boss defeated! Shredders. That asshole Roscoe ordered to have them activated. Later they would be a pain in my ass, but they'd end up saving it too. Hold on, Mr. Fox. What exactly did you say attacked you? What you just heard. Some sort of hybrid between piranha and human. A human piranha attacked you? I see. And in your opinion, could you elaborate how this hybrid could exist? That question kept gnawing at the back of my brain the entire day. I dwelt on it over and over again. And after seeing everything I saw on that base, their facilities, their experiments, their labs, I reached the only logical explanation. And what was that, Mr. Fox? That a woman, hell-bent on becoming a mother, was unable to afford standard artificial insemination. So she sought illicit services on the black market instead. And you know how the black market is. They scam you with any fake shit. She took up an offer from a back alley doctor who did the operation as requested. But she had yet to find out that she was actually fertilized with piranha sperm. Jesus. Woman. Months passed, and she became the mother of a school of human piranha hybrids. The horrified woman flushed them down the toilet. They ended up in the sewers, where they would keep reproducing, creating a colony of human piranha hybrids. The same ones that attacked me. As I proceeded down the sewer sidewalk, I noticed a path nearby I couldn't reach. Why not? It was across the sewer water. What was the distance to the other side? The yard, more or less. Couldn't you just jump it? Since I was captured, I didn't jump a single time and I wasn't going to start now. I realized I needed something to cross to the other side. Copy, Colonel. I've been trying to contact you. There was no signal down in the sewers. Have you already escaped? Where are you now? Not much progress. I should still be near the prisons. Are you kidding me? 
me, Fox? You're still too damn close. You need to travel farther before coming topside. I know, but there are sewer channels blocking my way. Then build something to cross them, Fox. Find some materials. Where are you exactly? I think I'm in the office of some sort of officer. You should search for classified files about Operation Jericho. Take them with you. They're up to something. I don't know what. We must find out. Before leaving the office, I searched for the documents. Before leaving the office, I called Harris to let him know that I found the files. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I found some documents. Operation Jericho. Looks like it talks about... an attack plan? Attack? Against what, son? I have no idea. It's encoded. I'll keep searching for more documents, Colonel. Operation Jericho is a rumor only known by a few officers and, of course, the enemy. How did you find out about it, Mr. Fox? As I told you, Colonel Harris asked me to search for files about it. The deceased Colonel Harris? Yes. I had the feeling that this officer didn't believe anything I was saying. <laughs> it's understandable. I don't believe you either. Oh, really? Well, Miss Incredulous, why ask me to tell you the story? Well, I like the way you tell it. And since there are no theaters here. Great. So, what was Operation Jericho? Turns out that location was actually a clandestine base with a company codenamed X-Army, commanded by someone named General X. They were planning a large-scale attack against Allied posts. And that plan was? Be patient. That comes later. Hey! Don't be like that. Come on, tell me! The officer that was taking my statement was also curious about what I knew. And what exactly do you know about Operation Jericho, Mr. Fox? That it was a hell of an operation. Harris and I knew the details thanks to the files we found. Correction, I found. Again, how much did you exactly find out? Let me continue. You'll find out later. Who's there? Damn cat. Who's there? <laughs> Damn T-Rexes. Hold on, weren't they extinct? Base, escaping prisoner, send back- <laughs> Who's there? Damn cat. Who's there? It's Mike! Fuck, Mike, you scared me. I'm sorry. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Heading south, I ran into a couple of trucks. That was my big chance to escape. But first, I had to get rid of the guards. Yeah. 
Once the guards were history, I examined the engine. I took a glance and my worst fears came true. It was an old diesel engine with no ad blue or particulate filter. What does that mean? Running away in that truck would have polluted the area with nitrogen oxides and microparticles. And I wasn't willing to sacrifice the environment for a hasty retreat. So I armed myself with patience, and I kept searching for another way to escape. Well, Jesse, I didn't know you were so eco-friendly. Well, it's nothing real. Mr. Fox, I'm still waiting on an explanation for the noose. Later, officer. Heading east, I ran into a hound. A puppy. You didn't hurt it, did you? A puppy? That monster was the size of a horse. Even so, I wanted to see if it was friendly. Puppy, puppy, are you a good boy? But that hound was trained to kill. Its bloody eyes looked at me like I was a well-done steak. <laughs> Heading east. He's not looking. That bastard won't move. He's over here all the time. Fuck. Hold on. I have an idea. Yo, Mike. 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 Shut up. I got pictures of your mom naked in the bathtub. Want to buy him? Real cheap. You bastard. I'm done with his shit. Just go shoot that bastard. I'm already on my way. Burn in hell! Ugh. Moron. Ugh. 